Edo 2024, that is Edo Guba Elections Group Roots for Imosagbo Apata Ticket, that's Labour Party Ticket. So why there is still the talk so between APC and PDP in Edo State over the upcoming uh, governorship election, Labour Party, Olimida Apata and Imosagbo on the other side are also, you know, breaking grounds, ensuring that they make their waves. So why, I know everybody campaign has started and everybody is uh, working hard now to see how they can win. So in the wake of all of this uh, campaign, talk shows and all of that, a group has come out now to ensure that, uh, you know, Labour Party wins that election. I don't know how Edupe are going to vote, whether they're going to vote APC with all the problems APC has given Nigeria in the past nine years, or whether they're going to vote PDP with the problem Basaki is having um, with the uh, pro, uh, what they call the legacy group, and uh, his former deputy, uh, Philip Shaibu, and all the problems in PDP, we don't know. Or whether they will change their mind, they do people change their mind and dump PDP and APC and go for Labour Party because of Apata as a fresh blood, we don't know. So those are the things that uh, we need to look very carefully and clearly to see where the pendulum tilts. Labour Party Forum for Justice, okay, Equity and Fairness, has asked the leadership of the party to give the Edo State gubernatorial ticket to Barrister Ken Imasagbo and let Olimida Akpata run as his deputy. Can you imagine? So this is exactly what they're looking for. So, so what they're saying is to swap it. They can't swap it. They've done their primaries. And you cannot say that the Mosakbon should go and the Lumida Akpata should stay back. What is your reason? That is another one that is somehow. Okay? So both of them are barristers. The Mosakbon is a barrister. Olimida Akpata is a barrister. So how are they going to swap that ticket? Why? So the group in a statement issued by Dr. Ben Osage said in the in furtherance to the news with the caption Edo 2024, Labour moves to reconcile Akpata in Mosagbon, the Labour Party stakeholders under the aegis of the Labour Party Forum for Justice, Equity and Fairness, hereby elect to put the records straight. It is certain that the Labour Party and the team in obedience across Edo State know that the September 21, 2024 Edo State governorship election is ours to win. It is without an ounce of an ounce of equivocation clear that our dear party, the Labour Party, believes in equity, justice and fairness. And it is important to put uh, before the world the position of the Labour Party stakeholders on the event superintended by selected members of the party on the 23rd of January 2024. That was called the Edo State Labour Party Governorship Primaries. Can you imagine? Wise comment in commending the political commissions of the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC for efforts targeted at reconciling all interests and recognizing and reshaping the party, the Labour Party for effective participation in the democratic space, we must hasten to state that no reconciliation will be sustainable and far-reaching if the pillars on which the party sustained, sustains is ignored or breached. Can there be genuine reconciliation where justice, equity, and fairness is thrown overboard? No. So the group alleged that what could have threatened the success of the Labour Party in the forthcoming Edo uh, state governorship election was allowing a candidate from Edo South to emerge as the Labour Party candidate, whereas the incumbent governor of Edo State, Gordon Basaki, is from Edo South. Okay. Also curious is the fact that in 2024, or rather in 24 years of the present democracy, Edo South, okay, when Obasaki's tenure expires in a few months, would have been in power for 16 years, and Edo not for 8 years. It is therefore unjust, okay, only just, fair and equitable to have someone from Edo Central as the governorship candidate of her dear party. So the two major political parties that we often vilify choose equity, justice, and fairness over political correctness by ceding power to a do-central 
knowing that inclusiveness, ditto power rotation, okay, and power sharing and consensus building is necessary for development and progress. So the PDP elected the candidate from Edo Central because equity, justice, and fairness must count. Okay. For the APC, the very popular pastor Ize Yamu withdrew from the race so that someone from Edo Central could be the APC uh, candidate. And when Comrade Shomole and his team thought otherwise by choosing a candidate from Edo South, he took the intervention of President Bola Metinubu, who upon his return from a foreign trip, instructed a rerun because of the call for justice, equity, and fairness, noting that a do central, as it were, must be given a chance to produce the next governor of the state. Indeed, both the PDP and the APC have coordinates, have candidates from a do central. So why should our clear Labour Party that prides in justice, equity, and fairness be different? That's the question. Conversely, the only window open to our dear party, the Labour Party, so we do not lose out completely and not have a valid governorship candidate in a do state is the providential action detail the case in court instituted by Barrister Kenny Masagbon. Indeed, had Barrister Kenny Masagbon not gone to court, the fate of the party of the Labour Party in a do governorship election would have been sealed. Hmm. So as concerned stakeholders of the party, we plead with organized labor and the obedience to prevail on Barrister Olumide Apata to step down, resign and run as the deputy governorship candidate of a dear, of our dear party. With Barrister Kenny Masagbo as the governorship candidate, this is the way to prevent our dear party from losing out completely Anything other than this clear pathway to victory will amount to the Labour Party surreptitiously, surreptitiously working for the PDP or the APC because without a valid ticket, our struggle will be for nothing. Okay. So we are committed to seeing that everything humanly, uh, humanly and legitimately possible is done to ensure that the Labour Party wins a those state come September 21, 2024. And the very bright part to tread is to support a Kenny Masagbo Olimide Apata ticket. We pray this happens, the statement added. Hmm. So now they're looking for Kenny Masagbo Olimide Apata ticket, not Olimide Apata Kenny Masagbo ticket. That is the thing. Huh. So this thing now, because Olimide is from Edo South, or Basaki is from Edo South, they are looking at getting somebody from Edo Central. Edo South has been there for 16 years. Edo North has been there for 8 years. So it has to be Edo Central this time. But where were they when the primaries went the way it went? That is the question. Where was Edo Central? Why didn't they zone that? Why didn't they walk that during the primary to ensure that this is balanced? Why do they think that Olivia Pata, after winning the party uh, ticket and becoming the flag bearer, will want to step down after primaries? Uh uh, it's not done. I don't think that to be possible. I really don't think that to be possible. Okay, someone said they are jokers. Did the Masagbo not partake in the primaries? Exactly. Did he win? So why we why uh some few elements say the ticket should be taken from a winner to someone who did not win? They are insane. And that is the thing. It doesn't work like that. Eh? If Masagbo took part in the primary and he did not win, why are you trying to use the back door to make him the governorship candidate? Only with that pattern will have to move on. If they lose, they lose. So shall, so be it. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.